Property disclosures are one of the most important, if not the most important piece of paperwork that you're gonna view when buying a home. I'm gonna go over five reasons as to why both the buyer and the seller need to pay attention to these forms. Stick around. Number one is that it is a legal requirement. In many states, in many countries, it's a legal requirement to know any known defects in the property. Anything that is adverse to the property that the seller is aware of, we are required to disclose that information. Number two is the protection for the buyers. Now the buyers are going to be doing a home inspection, however, we're relying on the information that is given from the seller in order to give the buyer a true and transparent feel for what that home consists of. And that consists of any adverse material facts so they can take appropriate means and get appropriate estimates whether or not the seller is okay with fixing those issues to give the buyer a true sense of what they are purchasing. Number three is we are avoiding misunderstandings. A lot of times there could be an adverse material fact on the property. The inspector comes through, notes, notates that adverse material facts to what their opinion is, and truly it might not be an adverse material fact. So if the seller were to disclose the information or the appropriate steps that they had taken in order to, to fix that adverse material facts, it could prevent any misunderstandings throughout the transaction. And I will tell you, first and foremost, communication between the buyer and the seller is key. The buyer doesn't wanna sue the seller. The seller doesn't wanna sue the buyer. It's a long process. So if we can avoid any misunderstandings from the get-go, it's gonna be best in all parties' interest to avoid those misunderstandings. Number four is transparency. Providing thorough disclosures shows and gives confidence to the buyer in pursuing that home any further. If the buyer thinks that the seller is being honest and true, there's a higher likelihood that the buyer is gonna continue with that home purchase rather than backing out because the buyer thinks that the seller is hiding something. Number five is compliance and ethical agreement. And that's based on my side. So as the realtor, I'm held to a higher standard. So anything that I know adverse to the property, of course I'm gonna disclose that because I'm gonna do exactly what I want someone else would on the property. So I'm held at a higher ethical standard. So I'm incentivized by helping the seller provide a thorough property disclosure so we could pass that along to the buyer. Now let me give you a scenario. There's a lot of times where uh, people might, you know, forget certain adverse material facts or they might omit them completely and not list them on the disclosure. So when the buyer enters the home, they get very excited, they make an offer, their energy level is way up here. They're very excited, they wanna, they wanna purchase the property, they're to the moon. You get emotionally invested, I've been there myself, I know exactly how that feels. Now, if you weren't to disclose any adverse material facts, the next step in the process is the inspection, okay? So the inspector's gonna come along, they're gonna say, hey, here's a hundred things that's wrong with the house. And believe me, sometimes it does come out to a hundred different items. Now, that energy level from the buyer is way up here. So they're, they're up here, they get to the inspection. Had they not known about the adverse material facts that the inspector lets them know of, their energy level plummets down to here. So they start way up high, they get to the inspection, their energy level drops all the way down. All right, now imagine a case where the buyer's energy is super high. They make an offer on the house, but they also see the owner's property disclosure and any adverse material facts at the time of them making the offer. Well, come inspection day, the inspector is gonna call out a bunch of different things, okay? But if they're aware of those adverse material facts prior to inspection day, their energy is gonna stay high, it's not gonna plummet. Cause they're gonna say, hey, Mr. Inspector or Miss Inspector, I already was aware of those facts because the seller was being honest and transparent. So I'm already aware of that. So their energy stays high. 
So the, uh, the chances that the transaction is going to go through to the closing table is much, much higher when the buyer is already aware of the adverse material facts, as opposed to not knowing anything, get to the inspection day and it plummets because they think that the seller is hiding something or there's just too much going on with the home for them to feel comfortable with. It's amazing how often that buyers keep that confidence if they trust and they are transparent with the adverse material facts. So I hope that provides some clarification. In the next video, I'm gonna go over what the owner's property disclosure does not disclose just so that you could be aware. That way you could do your due diligence in purchasing the property. Thanks so much for watching and as always, please subscribe.